What's going on YouTube? Rob Clark here of Beagle Games. Goof is at work unfortunately. But yeah, today's video is going to be some awesome pickups. We went to thrift stores, we went to Game Stops, we had some Facebook Marketplace pickups. And we got some pretty excellent stuff. Please stay tuned the whole show. Found a lot of good stuff and at the end you see it going pretty big in 64 pickup. But yeah, let's go. What's going on YouTube? I'm going to do a little thrifting trip today. I'm going to meet a few people on some Facebook Marketplace deals. I hit up a bunch of places up in the thick of New York, but I'm on the way. I'm going to drive in the police, shop at the other one. Picked up nothing pretty really too special. I'm going to have a story mode. Yeah, picked up for three bucks. Yeah, Twelve bucks for each of them. Three bucks here. When you're in a thrift store, you might as well pick up and make a few bucks. And then it sells. And I just picked up this bag of goodies. Got a little bit of Facebook Marketplace deal. Kingdom Hearts and two Kalimari games for the PS2. Got some good Wii titles. Got Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario. Hit Mario. And then also picked up some random The main reason I got this one. Things for like 10 bucks, so I don't feel like it. This one, this Iron Blood, got listed for 118. That's uh, good, it actually sells for that. That'd be amazing, but yeah, 861. This is like 25, 10, and then who knows with this? So, some pretty good scores. Let's go to the next one. Stop number two, it's good reuse center. Doesn't really look like much, but there is a lot inside, and yes. It is snowing. Good old upstate New York. Let's go. Ooh. Uh, score. Here's that. Oh, okay, so. Somebody's got this inside. VHS. I don't know if I can find anything. Back in the car. Look at this fucking parking job. Like, really, asshole? Is that important? Whatever. Um, picked up a Wii power adapter, two Wii AV cables, the Switch uh, Joy-Con bumper, and then it's probably gonna go to Goof. Nice little Starbucks move, only 50 cents. Can't beat that. Okay, off to the next. I'm telling you guys, 
you guys aren't going to GameStop to look for retro games, you guys are missing out. Sometimes they have some steals. Sometimes they have stuff for price charting, but if you use your points and everything, you can find some good stuff. So, Transformers, War for Cybertron. They had a mark for 20 with the pro membership. You get it for 19 $40 game all day, complete. Uh, Transformers Fall of Cybertron. They had a mark for 18 with the pro membership $17.09. Um, this one, unfortunately, is not complete, but still, $40 game all day. Dead or Alive Extreme 2 for the 360. Uh, not complete, but marked at 20, got it for 19. Then this game sells for about 30, 35. I know it's not the greatest, but hey, I'm already in there. Might as well get some, make some money. Then the big um, Pokemon Heart Gold. They had a mark for 90. Pro membership 85.49. Now with this, I had $25 in coupons. So I'm knock off $25 off for everything else. Yeah, let's see about what 125, uh, 155, 195, 235, and in total I spent one. Just say 125, so 100 bucks. So after fees, 75 dollars in profit for just walking into a GameStop. Okay, you guys really need to go in to do that. Oh, you just want to build your collection. These are all solid titles for cheap. You're not going to find these at game stores. You're going to find this at GameStop. So please, make sure you guys are going to check that out. All right, we've got, I think, three more stops on this. Maybe four. Got to get some food. Yeah, it's been fucking good. Let's go. Yeah, I think we use second one. This is a real big one. Been here a few times. Luck has not been the greatest. Well, who knows? That's why we're here. I got the DVDs. Find some pretty good ones. Stuff maybe for the collection. I got the DVDs for the collection. I got look up the values of like Final Fantasy Boomers, Alvin Monsters, Aqua Teens. Some decent stuff. Man. Don't you guys just love this angle? But holy crap, guys! I just found some things that I never thought would be worth money, but that's why you scan everything with a barcode. So you guys saw the Boondock Saints complete uncensored series, paid five bucks, comps around 25. Uh, Real Monsters complete series, five bucks, and everything is 10% off too when you sign up for the membership. So 450, um, and comps are right around 15, 20 bucks. Hey Arnold, uh, complete series. Um, again, paid uh, 450 for it, and comps were right around, I think like the 15 to 20 range as well. But these guys, if you guys ever see this series, or any of these movies, or whatever this is, make sure to pick them up. So we got Twin Peaks. This is Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me, and this is this Twin Peaks. Um, the only reason I know that these have value is I found this at the Goodwill Bins once, um, and sold it sealed for 50 bucks. But loose, both of these are selling for 25 each. Um, and I paid 50 cents, so 45 cents for both of these. Okay. And then the big boy, the Twin Peaks collector set. Looks like episodes 1 through 29. Um, comps for this, I seen as high as used 125 bucks. And I paid 180 for it. So this might be the score of the day, especially with how unique and weird it is. We still got two more spots to hit up, maybe a third if on the way home if it's still open. But yeah, today has been awesome. I haven't had a day like this in a while. I needed this. And yeah, let's keep this hunt going. Thanks for sticking around. If you're still here. Next up, Dirty Shopper. That's all I gotta say about that. Yeah. It's the next day. Got home pretty late. Didn't feel like going through too much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna lay out some of the other pickups I had. I picked up some Facebook pickups uh, the past 12 to 18 hours. Uh, so let's see what we got there. Oh, security system is going on. Got a left center. All right, here's some of the N64 pickups from the lot I got. 
some of the highlights you can see Pokemon Stadium 2, Conquerors, Majora's Mask, two copies of Ocarina, Mario, um, Super Mario 64, sorry I wanted to say Mario Kart for some reason. But yeah, there's the N64 pickups, now let's look at the rest of it. And here's the second portion of what I picked up. This all came in one lot, Mario 3, Def Jam Vendetta, always a good one to pick up. Blitz the League, Holds Value, if I find the second one, definitely grab it. Um, some PS3 controllers, still one in the GameStop packaging, Xbox One controllers. And then a bunch of just random stuff in here. This is full of games, but nothing really special. $40 all into this. Probably what, 100 bucks? Not the greatest, but hey, it's something. So yeah, crazy 24 hours of pickups, thrift, thrift, yeah, thrifting, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this, and we'll be seeing you guys pretty soon. Remember to uh, leave a like, subscribe if you can, and just do whatever you can to help out. We're here to have some fun, and it's been an interesting journey, and this month has just been absolutely insane. But I appreciate you guys joining us. Alright guys, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for watching. If you could, please like, give a like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we're here to have some fun and you know, try to show you how so you can find some stuff in upstate, not really upstate, Binghamton, New York area. Um, we just gotta go out there and find it. There's opportunity everywhere. Facebook, thrift stores, maybe little things. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys could, again, you guys have a good one. Peace.